Kidneys filter our blood, keeping in good things like protein and letting waste out to make urine. The urine drains from each kidney into the bladder through a tube called a ureter. The bladder stores urine for a few hours until you're ready to get rid of it. It then comes out of your body through another tube called the urethra. The urine first collects in part of the kidney called the pelvis. The pelvis funnels gently to form a ureter. The funnel formed by the kidney, pelvis, and ureter is called the ureteropelvic junction, or UPJ. When cars are moving smoothly in all four lanes of a highway, there are no problems. If the highway suddenly narrows because three lanes are under construction, traffic backs up. The highway is not completely blocked off, but the traffic can back up a long way and traffic moves very slowly. The same thing can happen with a urine drainage from the kidney. Urine causes the least problems when it keeps moving. The problem with UPJO happens at the funnel, the junction between the kidney and the ureter. Sometimes it doesn't form properly and it's too narrow. Other times, a nearby blood vessel presses on it and narrows it from the outside. Either way, the urine drains slowly and causes a ureteropelvic junction obstruction, or UPJO. We usually figure out that someone has this problem when they tell us about pain in the back, side, or belly. Slow drainage of the urine can cause pain. Often the pain is worse after drinking a bunch of fluid. The work of having to filter all that with slow drainage causes the kidney pain. Sometimes people even get blood in the urine, infections, or kidney stones because of the sluggish drainage. Doctors have a few ways to figure out if you have a UPJO. They might tap on your back over your kidney to see if that causes discomfort. They may get an ultrasound or sonogram of the kidney, which shows backed up urine as large black spots called hydronephrosis. An ultrasound is not invasive or painful, but it can't diagnose UPJO with certainty. It only suggests it. Hydronephrosis is seen with other problems as well. There are more specific tests of kidney drainage, such as a MAG-3 or an MRU, but these are a little more invasive. These tests are done in radiology. A nuclear study and an MRU can diagnose the UPJO problem because they test drainage. A dye is injected through an IV and followed in the bloodstream until the kidneys filter it and release it in the urine. We can then tell how well the kidney drains and even measure the time of drainage. The bladder has to be empty the whole time to measure drainage accurately, so a catheter has to be put in. Sometimes drainage studies require sedation. If the tests are borderline and the child is doing well, doctors may simply check on the kidney with an ultrasound every so often to make sure it's stable and not getting worse. If the tests show a blockage is present, we usually recommend surgery. Without surgery, the kidney would keep feeling pressure from the backed up urine and over time would stop working properly. In surgery, the part of the funnel that narrows too abruptly is removed and the normal renal pelvis connected to the normal part of the ureter. If a blood vessel was pressing on the funnel, the funnel is moved in front of the blood vessel so it's no longer in the way. The new connection usually heals over a tube such as a stent or a nephrostomy tube. Later, doctors use non-invasive ultrasounds to check on the healing and new drainage of the kidney for several years.